Hey guys, hey guys, how are you today? Alrighty, we are here to finish our setup for our traveling journals for 2017. I think that we're going to call this whole process or program My Life of Self-Expression for 2017 or something like that. It's not set in stone yet. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Hopefully by the time this airs there'll be a definite title in the title of the video and everything and you guys will know. At the moment of filming this it is the end of July and I don't know. <laughs> so um, I think something like My Life 2017 or My Life of Self-Expression 2017. Something, like, something along those lines. Alrighty. So, I have lots of stuff on the desk, don't I? In the description below my video and the others that are doing it with me in their introduction videos, there will be a materials list of what we're going to use with links if we have them. Now, there's no requirement for you to use the same things that we are. We want to give you ideas to document your life, do a little art, have some fun with what you have and or what you can afford. We definitely don't want you to go out and spend tons of money on stuff because, you know, none of us have the budget for that and we don't need to do that. Alrighty. So you've already at this point seen my flip of my old journals and uh, where I talk about what I did do and what I liked about it and what I didn't. You've seen the video where I talk about using this journal and making the inserts, the basic insert. In this video we are going to show decorating the inserts. I got 12 of them made and putting the calendars in and doing some very basic decorations and setup. I've got a little speed through video for you. I'm going to air for you right now and then I'll be back to um, talk about what I did and why I did it and explain this stuff to you. All right, I'll be right back.
Okay, wasn't that fun? All right, so I did create 12 of these inserts just like I did the original one in that video. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it in the description below. Um, but basically it's one file folder in its entirety with the tabs cut off, accordion folded, and then half of another one folded and sewn to the first one through one of the folds. Now, then I took them they're upside down. <laughs> then I took them and um, I took one for each month and I put a little bit of washi tape and some stickers that I've printed with my artwork on them. I did a little bit of stenciling. We'll talk about the stencils and stickers in a minute. Not too much because I want to leave room to add my bits and pieces for that month in here and do some journaling in here. Um, 
without this stuff getting in the way. That doesn't mean I want to start with a blank page. I have this thing about having the backgrounds be textured and interesting with color underneath the other stuff that I put on here. And um, while in recent months and years I've done less than when I first started doing it, I do still like to have a little bit of stenciling or paint on the background. So that's what that's all about. There's plenty of bank blank paper or I should say blank pages in here um, to do, you know, where I want to just add other stuff. Um, in each one of these, I printed um, 2017 calendars on my computer. I sized them to fit in here so that I would have this margin. I cut them down a little bit even more to fit so that I would have a little bit of space all the way around the calendar. And I used some tape runner to get them in. And then that's right in here in the folded piece on each one of these. And then I have this whole side here with stickers and washi tape and a little bit of stenciling. And also, you know, you can use the back because the way they're going to be held in the journal, uh, the only part that's going to be um, held down is this st the stitched part. So you have both sides of all these pages to do journaling on. These are <clears throat> all of the folders for 2017. As you just saw, that was December. I have January, February, and March already in the journal. And I'm just kind of holding these together with a rubber band. I'm not too concerned if over time with working with them, if the edges get narfed up, the corners get dinged. Um, this journal is not about perfection. It's about expressing myself and documenting what happens to me and my life and my art during that year, the trips I take, special events in the family. So um, part of that, you know, we don't get through life unscathed. Uh, never and so I don't expect my journal to either. I'm okay with adding a little bit of texture and character to my journal through you know it getting a little bit of smashed up and you know maybe ink spots or things like that. That's just you know it adds uh, interest. So here is the journal all ready for January 1st and you'll notice I put um, one word of thought or inspiration in each section um, these are printed up from my Etsy shop and it's already formatted to fit on these label, these little clear backed labels. I have them available as a digital download and in the title and description is the uh, Avery paper um, pack that you need, sticker pack that you need to print these on that you need to buy. Um, so you can get these stickers with the words with a clear background or a printed background in my Etsy shop. You can also get these um, stickers with my artwork on them in the Etsy shop. All of the links for um, the Etsy shop and everything else, like I said, they're in my description below. The stencils that I used in these are my designs for stencils. Now, the basic design is available as a JPEG download and it, it looks just like this. You can then size it to fit into um, any of your stencil cutting systems that accept JPEG files. Uh, for instance, I have a silhouette so I can put the JPEG into the silhouette and have it trace the edges and then cut the stencil, which is exactly how I did this. You can also print it and cut it by hand. So these are available. Um, I have this one too, which I call oranges. They're based on some of my doodles for my stamp designs, which are also available in the Etsy shop. So go look over there for some pieces and parts to use in your planner or your journals this year. I have January all ready to go. And February. I love this arrow stencil. I think it's my favorite of that current set. And then this is March. So I'm all ready to go and I love the size of this because this is going to fit in my um, travel bag real easy when I do take it with me when I go out of town. So I love that. And having a little bit of stenciling and things on the backgrounds ensures that when I am out of town I don't need to bring tons of supplies with me. I don't need to bring paint. I've already got a little bit in the background. I just need really need some tape, some glue, um, some pens, and maybe a couple markers. And I can make do with that. I don't need to bring anything more messy than that um, because the uh, paint is already on there. There's a little bit on there. You can go and do more or less. That's up to what you want. Um, okay, so at, because this is a traveler's notebook style notebook, as the months get filled out, 
they're just held in with these elastic bands and as they get filled up I take them out and then where do I put them I'm gonna take them out I'm gonna put the next three months in and then where do I put these well I got a solution for that so uh, as when I take out January February and March and then put in April May and June January February and March are gonna go in one of these storage binders these are intended for Midori notebooks and I got these on Amazon. The link is in the description below. These are Traveler's Notebook storage binders. And I'll show you. I have one of them that was open. I think it's this one. <coughs> the, you can fit five months, uh, five notebooks in here. Um, and they're just, you slide the note, the stitched binding of the notebook underneath this wire and then it's held in here. And let me show you with one of these. So once I have it all done and I'm, I'm finished with this month, then I can take it. There we go. And I can slide it in here and I can put I can put five of them in here and they're going to be nicely stored on the bookshelf. I will probably label the spines with the months that are in the notebook. And um, I have them in a safe, secure place, and I'm not carrying around all 12 months with me, which is something that I've been doing this year in 2016 that I really liked. It was the one thing about working with a binder that I decided worked really well was that I didn't carry um, the whole year around with me like I had done in the past. Um, and I really prefer that. I found I preferred that, so. All right, so these are from Amazon. They weren't very expensive. I don't remember how much they are exactly, but like I said, they're in the description below. I also plan on adding, um, occasionally some Traveler's Notebook notebooks to it. So these are different notebooks. Now this one has a calendar in it, but I would probably um, just use that as background texture to write on or sketch on. And I don't know that I will do lots of written journaling in here, but maybe if I go on a special trip or um, do some have something happen um, extra special where I need more space, I might take one of these and leave it in there and use it for maybe even for the whole year um, where I'm documenting special things for the year. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that, but I want to leave the option open. So I have a few of these Traveler's Notebook style notebooks. I have a plain craft paper one. I've got this one that has a calendar on it, and I have this one with lined paper. These all came with this cover, and they fit in here really well, but any Traveler's Notebook size notebook would fit in here. Um, Michael's has a traveler, a version of a Traveler's Notebook that actually fits a moleskin cahier, and you definitely could use that, and I understand as of right now, which is, the again, the end of July, um, they are on clearance at Michael's. So I don't know if by the time you see this, they're gonna still have them, they might, um, but maybe if you already own one, you could use it for this project. I also plan on using different things like rub-ons. Don't we all have tons of rub-ons in our stash of stuff? So I'm gonna use uh, things like rub-ons to decorate the page and that's something that's very thin and flat and I could tuck a sheet of rub-ons into the journal when I'm going on a trip that I wanna use on the pages for that trip. Um, and that would be real easy. I've got a big stash of rub-ons, let's use them. These particular gold feather ones I found at Target recently. I have this, this pencil case, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use. It's floating around my office. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Um, but it's a pencil case to hold just one or two pencils and it has an elastic band on it. And I could actually, if I was going to say, use one of these notebooks. And this may be what I do with this, this band. This I got at the Japanese dollar store, but again, I've seen these at Michael's, the same, same style of one, but I could take it And fit it on the notebook and then slip the notebook in the into the um, travel journal um, and then I could have you know maybe special pens just for writing or whatever into the pocket and that may be how I use this um, it's not super big but it's big enough to hold um, you know a couple of pens really comfortably maybe a gel crayon something like that I'm gonna put 
put this back in here because I think that pen holder is a great idea on that notebook. Okay. The other thing I'm going to use is stickers. Holy cow, don't we all have stickers? And I have this addiction to Korean planner stickers. <laughs> you do. These just came in, actually. I've got more of them. But I plan on using them on my journal to decorate the margins and decorate the pages and different special events and, like, on the calendar and things. Uh, my favorite brand is so Sautier. I don't know how you pronounce that, but this one. And I have a few of their stickers, but I love these bunnies. This one is called Bonnie, B-O-N-N-Y. We'll talk about that one in a minute. This is another one by that same brand. It's called A Daily Something. I, ha I love this one. Uh, is this? Oh, that's Sticker World. Okay, so we'll talk about that. Um, this one is Remnants. This one is All For You. I have two of these. So I love those, and I'm going to use those in my planner. This is um, Funny Sticker World. This is the Bird of Night, Boobo, and look at those little owls. I'm going to actually see if I can get another sheet of these because they're so cute. And this one is Sonia J, and this one is called... Do we know? Oh, My Mysterious Forest. There's lots of different places to get Korean planner stickers. The place I get them from, Etsy. That's where I get them from. It's the easiest place. I do I do want to remember to get more of these. So that's my setup for 2017. Um, I hope you choose to join me and the others. Um, the links for their videos will be in the description below for how they're getting set up and in the successive videos going forward. If we use a new product, it, the link for it will be in the description below. The links for their videos will be in the description below. I do think we're going to start out the year by tipping in something. So we are thinking about starting out the year by... <coughs> doing a reading list in our um, sections of our journal and encouraging people to uh, read and to study your craft, if you will, or just read for enjoyment and to document what you've read and maybe give a little review of the book and share with the rest of us what you've read and if you like it or not. Um, so I'll probably be tipping in a tag or an envelope. So there'll be a video about that. I'll show you how I did it. Um, there's all sorts of things you can use to add more space in your journals. Um, clear adhesive pockets. Of course, you can tape in or tip in an envelope, a tag. I do plan on using some things like this, which are clear plastic adhesive pockets. Um, these I got on Amazon, and again, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, the whole thing is sticky back, and this is clear plastic. So if you had a section that had, say, paint and stenciling or doodling or even journaling on it that you liked, you could put this over it to stick a ticket or a tag or, you know, a, a receipt to a store in it without worrying about covering up what's already there because you can see it through the pocket. Yeah, so that that'll be the kind of thing that you can see, you can look forward to me doing in my journal going forward. The others all have a different take on it. The other things that I will be using are a black pen, of course, uh, a white paint pen, black paint pen, and gel crayons. Now I'm not going to show you specific brands because you can use what you have. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Target has the up and up watercolor gel crayon that would work just fine. Um, Michael's has the rec Recollections gel crayons. Those work just fine. And for as far as paint pens go, use what you can afford. Um, Sharpie makes a good one. Um, get the water soluble. Uh, that's it for right now. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.